All right, here we are. Welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, here we go. Five minutes. Let's do this. Now we're going to talk about Bjork, Bjork, however you want to pronounce it. Um, a very, a very special artist to me. I think she's an amazing talent. Um, just a heads up. These five are basically early Bjork. I find it really hard to get into her last two, even three, even Biophilia didn't do it for me too much. I think she sort of, I wouldn't say lost the plot, but just a lot of sounds that I couldn't get into or couldn't get behind. I think if I really spent some time with it, maybe I could get on board, but I really struggled with them. So these are basically my favorite Bjork records, almost in sequential order, apart from one, which I'll get to in a moment. But yeah, um, I, th I think she's an amazing artist. I did get a chance to see her once play, but it was part of a festival, and I had a few to drink, and I was really excited about seeing Rage Against the Machine as a teenager, so I didn't pay any attention to her, and I felt I've now I regret that quite a bit. But also, it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it was an outdoor festival, everyone was drinking, it just wasn't the right vibe. Bjork, so I kind of feel sorry for her. Um, but that was around the time of the Volta thing. Anyway, coming in at number five, actually speaking of Volta, is Volta. This record here that was pretty much panned by a lot of people. Uh, I really like this record. It was produced by What's His Face that was really famous for like three years. That producer. Fuck, I should do my research. Um, the reason this makes my list is because I actually bought this while I was in Iceland um, when it came out, which was really cool. Um, it has some really wonderful tracks on here. Um, Wanderlust. Um, I, my my favourite is definitely Earth Intruders and Declare Independence. Um, yeah, really wonderful. This is in a fantastic package too. It's very hard to keep in good shape. Um, I don't know if you can even see that, but yeah, there's all sorts of like crazy stuff going on. Um, the thing that I do appreciate as a graphic designer is Bjork always features herself on the cover in some sort of strange outfit. Um, now the next one coming at number four, I mean this could be number one, it's so good. Uh, homogenic, uh, obviously she was going out or she was in a relationship with Goldie at the time. You can definitely hear um, that influence on the sound, it's a lot more of a harsher sound, a lot more um, I guess harder and passionate and uh, less flourishes and big, I don't know, wafty sounds to it, I guess. Uh, yeah, um, really amazing. Check out the track Alarm Call. Um, even Hunter, all this, all this Full of Love is really beautiful as well. Yeah, homogenic. I think this is a proper, an OG pressing, 1997. In fact, all of these are original pressings. There we go. This one was um, 2005, I want to say, 2001, fuck, there we go. I really like this, it's very accessible. Um, sort of a back to a simpler sound, um, a very accessible, beautiful thing. This sound, thing sounds fucking amazing. Um, it's one of the best sounding records in my collection. Um, Cocoon, Hidden Place is the one that's a really good sun in my mouth. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Uh, beautiful artwork too. Um, Vespertine. Fuck, this should be a number two actually. I'm going to rearrange my order. This was number two, but I'm switching it out. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, what pressing is this? I don't know, some sort of pressing of this. I got it years ago, so it might be an original. Anyway, um, Human Behavior, Venus as a Boy. Um, that, that amazing track where she, where you're, um, yeah, it sounds like you're in a party and then you go, the, the, it sounds like you're going taken out into the bathrooms and you go outside and the door closes and you come back again to the party. The production on it is fantastic, uh, produced by Nelly Hooper and Bjork. This was her first record, um, well, her first breakthrough record technically. Um, the Anchor song is really beautiful. Um, One Day, there's some really great songs on here. Um, what I was talking about in terms of portraits, I love how she features on each one, you know, in a certain way. And then, I've oh got 30 seconds to talk about this. This is my favorite Bjork record for a reason. Uh, you can skip, it's oh so quiet. But apart from that, uh, yeah, this is a, I love how the second record, the cover, you know, like this is her first record where she had a breakthrough. This shows how she really hit the big time and she was massive in the UK. 
and it's called Post. As you can see by the Royal Mail, the cover really shows living in a bright, vibrant, you know, in a big, famous world. It really reflects her living in London at the time. Um, yeah, Army of Me, Hyper Ballad, um, Isabel, possibly maybe, I Miss You. Uh, fuck. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Bye, that's it. <laughs> Didn't quite make the cut there. Cheers.